Hello, my name is Mark Mendelssohn. I'm a professor of infectious diseases at Hurtiskia Hospital, University of Cape Town. So today, I'd like to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of wearing masks. If you don't wear a mask properly, you can actually increase the risk of becoming infected with the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. A good cloth mask will be made out of three layers. From thick weave cotton, with an inner layer that is soft cotton. They should be made out of fabrics that can be washed and ironed. The mask should be square, ideally with three pleats for comfort and to fit well and cover from above your nose to below your chin and to both ears. The mask will either have two straps that go behind your head or may have two ear straps such as the one we're using today. When you put it on, you place it over the nose, around your ears, and then you bring the bottom part under your chin and make sure that it fits, sits well on your face, molding it to your face. And that's how it should sit. There. So during the time you wear the cloth mask, do not touch the mask. If you do by mistake, then please wash your hands immediately with soap and water or hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. To take off the mask, do not touch the front of the mask. Take both of the straps around the ears Move it away from your mask and place it into a container for washing. The cloth mask can be washed with soap and hot water. If possible, iron the mask once it's dry or leave it in the sun to disinfect the mask. Ideally, you should have two masks so that one is ready for use while the other one is being cleaned. The goal of wearing a cloth mask is to reduce the number of droplets into your, you, you spread into your immediate environment when you breathe, cough or sneeze. By wearing a cloth mask, we can limit transmission of the coronavirus to others if we happen to be infected without knowing it. Unlike non-medical cloth masks. Medical masks are only to be used by healthcare workers working in hospitals, clinics, and in the community. These medical masks are fluid resistant and they are used to prevent the healthcare worker from splashes and droplets contaminating their nose and mouth. The N95 respirators, there are two types I'm showing here, the duckbill and the cup-shaped mask. These are N95 respirators that are specially fit tested to each healthcare worker that uses them so that they fit properly. Without such a fit test, the N95 respirator does not work properly. Only healthcare workers who work with patients with COVID-19 or tuberculosis wear an N95 respirator as the size of the droplets that are generated through the medical procedures that we undertake in hospitals demand a higher level of protection to those healthcare workers. I implore you to use non-medical cloth masks safely and to leave the medical masks 
and the N95 respirators for South Africa's healthcare workers so that we can look after you when you need us most. Thank you.